We are at Akema 2024 with Thomas Frike, Commercial Director at Ima Pharma. Hi, hello. In this international exhibition, uh, Ima Group is introducing uh, Ima Pharma, the all-in-one supplier. Can you tell us its value for the pharmaceutical industry? For sure. Uh, we have chosen this slogan uh, mostly because uh, we have seen that uh, a lot of customers are having a reduced technical department, less time and less resources to do the whole project planning. We are the one-stop shop supplier where you can buy everything out of one hand, which is reducing the risk of failure and which, giving, which is giving you also a certainty in your project planning. So uh, this is why from the first machine till the end means from the mixing and granulation until the pellet, everything can be supplied by EMA and can be organized and engineered by EMA. So less, less friction in your projects. IMA Active provides solutions for each solid dose processing phase. What new features are you showcasing at Akema? Yeah, here at Akema you will see traditional technologies like uh, the capsule filling and washing machines. But uh, the trend right now in solid dose is for sure, or one of the trends is uh, the continuous manufacturing. So we are showing a, a tablet press where you can put six feeders on top of it. You do the dosing and the mixing. You check the homogeneity of the product and then you press. By doing this continuously without having, let's say, a batch size or whatever, uh, you can reduce dramatically the cost and with the PAT sensors and all the other process control systems, you can have a very homogeneous production and then after the tablet pressing we go also in the continuous coating. That means that the whole process is continuous and you can produce the big blockbusters, whatever you want to, to name it, aspirin, metformin, paracetamol, in a continuous way which is reducing your production costs. And this is for sure one of the trends on this exhibition and also here on our booth. Ima Life concerns solution to process liquids and powders in aseptic and non-aseptic environments. What are the main trends in these areas? Yeah, let's say for me, as an engineer, it's funny enough to see that we have two, I would say nearly opposite trends. One is to go for high-speed injectables, like vaccines, for example, where you have to go for high speed because the demand in the market is very high. And that's not only for vaccines, this is for obesity and other products. So, with high speed you fulfill the demand of production and uh, you have also there a cost control uh, issue. The other trend is exactly the opposite. You don't go anymore for speed, you go for flexibility and um, the treatment of very valuable, uh, high value uh, medicines like the cell and gene therapy. We have here the, the new uh, machine called Tile X which is a machine which is transporting the vials or syringes uh, via a magnetic transport system from the filling to the stoppering to the closing uh, uh, without any uh, human uh, intervention, without any particle generation. And uh, this is one of the machines completely gloveless, another trend. So high speed contra extremely low speed. HemaSafe is specialized in primary and secondary packaging. What are the main advantages of your solutions? Yeah, now, nowadays in solid dose packaging, uh, the point is that uh, during the COVID phase, everybody was focusing a lot on the vaccine production. Nowadays, everybody understood that we need to have also cheaper medicines than uh, vaccines. So we, we still have to treat all the diseases in the world with cheaper medicines like tablets. So tablets are produced all over the world and in sometimes packed in different locations than where it was produced. So with the high speed uh, Giant 5, we are going for um, a feeding system which is called Sombrero, everybody knows maybe from the Giant 1, which we are now producing under high speed, 1,300 blisters per minute, but with a very flexible uh, feeding solution which doesn't care about tolerances of the tablets, which is the big problem in the production. So there is one trend. 
The other trend you can see is here one cartoning machine which is fully automatically adjusting itself from the carton magazine via the transport, uh, via the introduction blades. This is quite useful when you have a reduced uh, technical department because changeover times can be dramatically reduced from 90 minutes down to 10 minutes which is now feasible with this machine. So that's what comes up in, in the packaging field and also there again for the all-in-one we go from the primary packaging, means the blister packaging or the counting machines, into the carton, then bundling, stretch bending, case packing, pelletizer. Again, a complete line. You don't care about material handling, sampling or whatever. We will do that for you. At your booth, Ima Automation is showcasing the new x -Pen. Could you speak about it? Yeah, let's say Ima Automation is very well known for high-speed, big assembly lines. If you talk about obesity, uh, syringes, assembly, auto-injector assembly, usually there are big lines for these blockbuster products. But big pharma and also small medium pharma has the need of a small flexible machine. So our guys from Ima Automation, in this case developed in Switzerland, have made a machine with a magnetic transport system which is giving you flexibility, which is giving you a kind of medium speed and for sure a reduced uh, space necessity because it's quite a small and compact monoblock machine. So this is really something where uh, we are taking the quality of the Swiss production but putting it into a small, medium-sized machine. I think this is uh, one of the first on the market in this range. What's the role of the end-of-line hubs uh, experts? We have created uh, some, I would say, uh, one, two years ago, the end-of-line hub, because we have seen that transversal through all the EMA divisions and production systems, we always have the need of bundling, case packing, palletizing. And that's not so much uh, uh, related to the product. Everything needs to be packed and put onto a pallet. So we wanted to put all these experts together in order to find dedicated solutions for the market. Just one example. In pharma, a blister line is producing usually two to three cartons per minute. So the pelletizer has a quite easy job to put the cartons on the pallet. If you go into food, if you go into cosmetic, you will have completely different uh, scenarios. You will go full speed with high weights. So our experts of the end of line hub are, have uh, developed dedicated solutions for that. Thanks for everybody listening to this.